Hey everyone, I am going to be doing a <clears throat> regular vlog today and obviously if you're a new subby to me, thank you for subscribing. Um, I'm not a beauty guru by any means, I don't have any makeup on in case you can't tell and sometimes my hair is done and sometimes it's not. I'm just a regular average person but today it's just gonna be a vlog I'm gonna just talk about how I feel and the things that's going on in my life so if you don't like normal then just click the little red X up here somewhere I don't know um, a couple of things I want to share with you guys like first of all if I'm talking weird like the tip of my tongue right there I bit it I bit yeah I bit my tongue okay and it just feels it hurts really bad well anyhow moving on from that um it's like a lot of things has been going on with me this past week one being I've been trying to diet big time fat time um <clears throat> it's going but I'm so hungry <laughs> I know that sounds bad but what I'm doing this week is I'm trying to teach myself portion control because that's my biggest problem is portion control. I can go to the gym every day for four hours a day and sure I'm going to lose weight and I'm going to build muscle but it's not going to matter because when I reach my goal weight and I'm buff, I'm more buff than a man is none of that's going to matter if I don't know how to eat correctly and if I don't know how to limit myself on what I am eating so that's what I'm trying to teach my own self this week by um, having self-discipline and with the help of God because <laughs> it's been really really hard like for example what I'm doing I started on Sunday or Monday I can't remember but I'm going until next Monday doing this um, I had the thought had popped into my head that all these people that has um, gastric bypass done they're only able to eat from what I've heard is like whatever a fit into the palm of their hand and they're full that's all they can eat well <clears throat> and I keep doing this because I, I just got their eating and I feel like there's something on my mouth but like if that's all they can eat is just what can fit into their palm of their hand then it seems like I should be able to do that without having gastric bypass so that's kind of been my goal and I know what you're gonna say you know ginger that's not healthy you're not taking vitamins you know just because blah 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 you're gonna give me a whole bunch of reasons a whole bunch of excuses I know <clears throat> but I'm I can be self-disciplined but when it comes to food that's my downfall now I don't love any and all kinds of food I love junk food I love health there's some healthy food I like too but if I don't start controlling myself on what I'm eating then it's not gonna be good it's not really what I'm eating it's how much I'm eating of it like for example all them times that I've tweeted or I've, I've recorded us you know on my vlogs is going to eat Chinese food I'll eat like two plates of Chinese food and then on a third plate I'll have fruit or dessert or whatever there is a normal person does not get three plates of food at the Chinese buffet I mean dear God I mean sure my plates are not full don't look at me like I'm this morbidly obese cow because I know I'm fat okay and I got a problem with it I've showed you guys in videos before but it's not healthy and to me it's not normal to eat that much so I've been trying to curb that you know I think that like if I go to the Chinese buffet sure I should get one plate and have everything on it that I want and that'd be all I get some people think that's crazy because you go to a buffet I hate every time I try to make a video somebody calls but um to me I don't know, as I was saying, you people might think it's crazy to go to a buffet because it's all you can eat and to just only eat one plate. 
that's not it. That's fine if you go to a buffet like once every six months or once every three months and you just eat, you cannot eat anymore, you're just so full. Well, we go, my family, because my whole family is fat, putting to the side of like maybe three people, but my whole family is fat. And when we go to the buffet, it gets tore up. Like, they eat, you know what I'm saying? And to down through the generations of my family they've always been cookers like they will cook a full course meal for every meal and that's good because you get vegetables and everything but my nanny had the mentality of you know clean your plate and there's nothing wrong with that because there's people starving everywhere even in America there's people starving you know I'm not gonna make the thing about saying there's hungry children in Somalia well, there's hungry children here in America, but I'm not going on that tangent. The tangent I'm on right now, if I can stick to my point, is I'm not happy with how I feel. It's not really how I look. I don't like all this. If this was gone, <laughs> and my little chubby arms, and my inner thighs, then I would be completely happy but like my my tummy my stomach I don't care that it's fat it's that big I don't have a problem with that like just my problem areas you know I know everybody has problem areas but getting back to what I was saying about portion control I have no portion control like for example right here in my room never been opened is a can of Pringles right well it says serving size is approximately six Pringles okay six well do you guys eat only six Pringles or do you just keep eating them until you don't want any more or until they're gone me I'll just keep eating the Pringles until I don't want any more which is normally probably about 20 well that's almost three times well that's more than three times that's almost four times of the regular serving size well the same thing with ice cream or with whatever it is like for example uh this isn't a good example i was thinking of a can there's some drinks like like maybe the 20 ounce bottles if you look on the side it will say that a 20 ounce bottle is two servings well, I know everybody practically drinks a 20 ounce bottle. Um, moving on to what I'm trying, the, the biggest point of all is for this whole week so far, I've only been eating three times a day, one portion, this is it. Just whatever fit in my hand, that is my meal. So for example, this is what I'm gonna have for, well this is what I was gonna have for lunch and then I changed my mind and I had something else. But this here, would be one meal and I know that sounds bad and horrible but actually there's people that eat less than this but some see look you see how it's a little bigger than my hand well by the time I take it out and cut it and lay it here then it would actually fit into my hand and I know that's bigger than what the gastric bypass people eat but to me only eating a banana makes me really hungry like if you guys seen on my Facebook fan page I had posted uh, a measuring cup with cereal in it that was milk and cereal in a one cup measuring cup I only got eight bites of cereal one out of a teaspoon a teaspoon eight teaspoons of cereal put into my mouth normally there's like 40 you know I so it was, it's really hard for me but moving on from all that that's one of the things that's been going on and the other thing that's been going on is basically is like huge problems between me and Tim. And I know, I talk about it all the time. You people get sick of it. Oh well, it's my life and that's pretty much all I have to talk about right now because that's the biggest priority in my life right now. And I don't mean that in a mean way. I've been really irritated and aggravated today. So if I sounds like I'm taking out on you guys, I'm sorry. But I don't know. I'm just ready to throw my hands up in the air about him. He made me really, 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 really angry today. Um, I'm not going to say what he said because I think it's really rude and disrespectful. 
and um, foul but he had said something and we were driving because I was going to take him take him to Walmart to get him some cigarettes and drinks yada 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 I didn't need to go anywhere but I was going to take him right well he said something because my mom told Tim you know because you guys know in another video that she said that he has to like the end of September to get his act together or he can go home well he doesn't have a job and he had a job but I'm not gonna say what happened or the reason yada 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 um but when he got up today at one o'clock he didn't call the temp agency that he's going through and ask them if they had anything available and yesterday when I got up he was already up and I asked him did he call a temp agency and he said no but I can do it right now he had already been up four hours why wouldn't I don't know basically it's like he doesn't have the want to to get a job and that drives me crazy because one I'm not hurting hurting for money I mean Tim needs a job so we can supposedly get married move out get our own place actually start a life for ourselves blah 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 me and Tim are fantastic together when we're not around other people or excuse me when we're not around family whether it's his family or my family if we're not around other family members we're great but as soon as they're around us it's like we're, we're at each other um i don't want to go into great detail because i know there is family members that watch my vlogs but basically tim it's like he doesn't have the want to to get a job and so I got mad and I pulled over because of what he said and I made him get out I'm like get out of my car now he kept saying no 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 I'm like no get out I'm serious get out and so you know even if that's mean I don't really care you have no idea what he said and I put him out in a shopping center I did not put him out on the side of the road and it was not that far from where we live so don't yeah okay and I have my reasons on why I do things. I'm not just a cold-hearted, you know, what. So, I went on and I went and um, done a couple of things and then went by this other place, blah, blah, blah. And I came back by there. He was already gone, which I wasn't going to pick him up. I just want to see if he's still standing there. And I got back to the house and he was already here. And as soon as I come in the door, he's on the computer like always. And... I don't know what he's doing. I don't even really care to look because it's got to that point. And he still does the same old, same old things about talking to um, other women. I don't know. I've just let go of all of that. I don't even care. Like, I don't even care. I'm so done with it. I've literally just, I'm done. You know? I'm counting down the days till the end of September. I love Tim and I want to be with Tim. But love is a two-way street, and if someone wants to be with you, that there is also a two-way street. They're going to make the effort. You know, like yesterday, I told him, I said, Tim, if you want to get a job so bad, why don't you go to this fast food place because they're hiring, blah, blah, blah. Like, Jen, I'm not working no fast food places, blah, blah, blah. I don't care how bad I need a job. Okay, how does that make sense? We're in the middle of recession. It's really hard to find a job. And you have a deadline to have a job and be out of here by. Or my mom is sending you packing. Do you not want to be with me? Do you not want for us to make a life? Yada, yada, yada. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it. I don't know how long this video has went. And I feel like I've talked too long as it is. I'll probably have to edit it down. But that's pretty much what's going on with me. And I know I keep telling you guys I have a sponsored video coming up. I do. There's several videos that I want to do. But my flip is all tore up. And I hadn't had the chance to send it back yet. And I already got the things that I need to send it back. I just haven't mailed it yet. But I don't know. I'm just feeling kind of ho-hum today. And if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.